Hello and welcome to Manuscript Edits podcast. This is Sushi Sangeeta and you are listening to the fourth episode of our series Types of Scientific Articles. In this episode, I'll talk about short communications. Short communications are concise research articles that encapsulate the essence of a scientific study within a limited word count. They typically range from 1500 to 3000 words, allowing authors to present their work concisely. This briefness is one of their defining features which sets them apart from full length research articles. The primary objective of short communications is to swiftly communicate significant findings and scientific contributions to the research community. They often focus on addressing a specific research question, presenting preliminary data, or proposing novel hypotheses. Due to their concise nature, short communications are particularly suitable for research that does not warrant an extensive full-length manuscript. Like traditional research articles, short communications start with a concise and informative title that reflects the study's core objective. The abstract provides a brief summary of the study, and then beyond that, a short communication might not follow a typical structure of a research article. Authors get on to describe the experimental or analytical procedures employed in the study in very brief manner and then move on to the result part. The result and discussion is the crux of the paper as it presents the findings. So, what are the advantages of a short communication? First of all, it is used for rapid dissemination. Short communications enables researchers to share their findings quickly ensuring that important discoveries reach the scientific community without delay nextly it is an efficient method of communication the concise format of short communications require author to filter their research to its core components promoting clear and concise communication nextly it is suitable for reporting preliminary research these are ideal for presenting initial findings pilot studies or exploratory research allowing authors to gauge interest and gather feedback before embarking on more extensive research nextly short communication cover niche topics they provide a platform for niche or specialized research that may not warrant a full length article but is of significance to a particular field finally short communications can be used for career advancement Publishing these articles can boost an author's academic profile by showcasing their ability to to convey important scientific ideas effectively. Short communications are a valuable genre in scientific publications offering a streamlined format for researchers to communicate their findings, hypotheses and preliminary data swiftly and effectively. Their brevity, efficiency and ability to facilitate rapid de- dissemination make them an essential component of the scientific discourse. This is it for today's podcast. Hope it was informative and interesting for you. Tune in every Friday at Scholar Hangout to listen to more such podcasts. If you are trying to write a short communication and need any help, feel free to contact us. Post in your queries and suggestions at manuscriptedit.com or mail us directly at support at manuscriptedit.com. Happy listening!